The Executive Secretary of the Civil and Local Governments of Association, CLOCKSAC, Isaac Bampuado, cited portions of the Pensions Act 766, which puts pension funds into individual bond accounts. The association again quoted Section 102 of the Pensions Act 766, which allows income accrued by individual scheme owners to have control over the schemes without government interference. Clarkson has since petitioned the National Labor Commission of a nationwide indefinite strike if government goes ahead to use the pension funds. What business do you have meeting people that you want to touch pension funds? He has gone got that authority. Now let me state, you see, we are having this problem. Let's go to the foundation of all these issues. Once you have apparatchiks and guru boys running the system, this is what will happen. Clarkson would wish to entreat all members to be calm and go about their normal duties and continue to contribute to the good governance of Ghana. Are you call to all workers. We will continue to be on the alert. Klossak is serving notice on the National Labor Commission that should government default in honoring any of the coupons when due for the schemes, it will declare an indefinite nationwide strike. Currently, calls have come from a cross-section of the public for government to review its flagship programs to save revenue. Cluster has also asked government to suspend all flagship programs. If we are to sacrifice, the first thing as Ghanaians that they should do, sacrifice the sac uh, fl flagship programs. But you cannot leave your flagship programs and you want to come to church pensions, which you yourself say they are exempted. And the services also protest pension funds. They shouldn't there. Or you know them planting for foods that they are producing in their billboards. Why school feeding? SHS, yes. But I can tell you, majority of those who are benefit, they can pay. So let's really look at the SHS. Those who really cannot pay. Because if you send your school to a private school, you all know how much they charge. And if you can pay primary at that cost, how can, can you not pay SHS? So let's take another look at HHS and prioritize it.